Hello there! Welcome back to another long-awaited Scratch tutorial. Today we'll be talking about minimalizing the movement vector, which is one of the most common mistakes made in top-down games, including some of mine. But what is the movement vector? This video, we'll talk about what it is and how to code it. So what is the movement vector? Well, a vector is an object that has both a magnitude and a direction, but that just sounds too complex. In our context, it's simply just the change in x and change in y of a sprite. So let's say you're making a Zombs Royale shooter, and the player moves at 4 pixels per tick, okay? So if you were to move to the right, the vector would simply be 4, 0, because you're changing x by 4 and y by 0. And you if you're moving up, then the vector would be 0, 4, because you're changing x by 0, but moving directly upwards. Now here's the catch. What if I was moving upwards and rightwards at the same time? Well, in video game logic, I would change x by 4 and y by 4. Seems pretty natural. But then, I would be moving at a speed greater than 4, because the diagonal length throughout a square is longer than the side length. So how do we figure out how much x and y do we need to change by? Well, we know that the speed or distance of the vector is 4 pixels, and we also know that x equals to y because they are all the same side length of the same square. Therefore, this becomes a very simple geometry problem. We have a right-sided triangle with the hypotenuse being 4 and two identical sides. So now that we understand more of the problem, let's actually start um, doing some coding. So here I have a very basic movement script. You can see that the player can move around. He goes through the level, which we will um, fix later. And he also moves faster when moving diagonally. So we're going to start off by making a new function or custom block. We're going to call it move by x, x, and y, y. So this is essentially moving the player by a vector, right? Because we're moving it by its x value, then y value, then y value. So we're going to put change x by x here and change y by y here. And we're also going to do a collision check. So we're going to do if touching color, um, the level color. Um, you can also do touching level if you want. But in this case, I will do touching color because um, this part the player can actually touch, right? It just can't go over this level. So um, we're going to do change x by 0 minus x, so we find the opposite of x, and we change y by 0 minus y, so the opposite of y. And by the way, if you didn't know, um, leaving it empty means 0, so yeah. Great, so now let's change um, this code here. We'll swap it for our uh, vector custom block, um, change x by 4, y 0, change x by negative 4, y 0, and if up arrow key pressed, then change x by 0, y4, and down arrow key pressed, change x by 0, y, negative 4. So you can see now we can still move around. Um, we still move faster if moving diagonally, but we don't go through the level. So that is good. Next, let's actually start coding, um, well, minimalizing the player's speed when it's moving diagonally. So we're going to make a new block, and I'm going to call it player movement speed click on ok great so i will now put this right here and since we're moving at a speed of four pixels i'll just put four here um currently it doesn't do anything because we didn't define it yet so yeah okay we're also going to make two new variables called vx and vy they should be local um so basically if you click on make a variable Select for the sprite only, because you don't want um, for all sprites messing anything up in case something goes wrong. So, we are going to do, in um, under def the define block, set vx to right arrow key pressed minus left arrow key pressed. Now, what does this do? Well, it kind of looks a little bit weird, but basically, if the right arrow key is pressed, it will return 1, um, which is, uh, you know, true. And if I'm not pressing it, then it will um, equal to 0, which is false. Which means that if I press the right arrow key, Vx will be equal to 1. 
And same for the left arrow key, but if I press it, it's going to become 0 minus 1, so it becomes negative 1. And if both keys are pressed, then you know 1 minus 1, which gives us 0. And we're also going to do the same thing for VY. VY equals to up arrow pressed plus down arrow pressed. And then we're going to do move by x, vx, multiplied by our speed. So we just put that right here. And vy multiplied by speed. So now if you try our script again, yay, everything works perfectly. And we have, oh no, look, if we go here to a wall and we try moving up and down while pressing um, the right or left arrow key, we kind of get stuck. Well, why is that? It's because we're moving two vectors at the same time. We're moving the x vector and the y vector, y vector at the same time. So let's say if I was moving diagonally, I'm touching this thing. Oh, we're touching it. Let's go back and we stop, right? That's why we need to calculate the uh, vectors individually. So we have to calculate the x vector first, then we calculate the y vector. Well, not calculate, check, okay? Because this is like a collision check. So you see now, if we go here, we can actually move along the side smoothly, even when um, pressing the up arrow. Because, for example, if we were moving diagonally, it checks the um, x vector first. It's not touching it. Great. Well, you're going to change it by that. And it, then it checks the up arrow. Oh, we're touching it, so we're not going to move up. Great. We fixed that issue. Finally, let's add in a if-else loop here. So we can detect if the player is moving uh, diagonally. We're going to we're going to do if absolute value of vx plus absolute value of vy. If you didn't know, absolute value basically just converts um, whatever number you have to positive. So if it's positive, it won't do anything. If it's negative, it'll convert it to like a um, positive version of that negative number. We're going, to, we're going to do if abs of vx plus abs of vy bigger than 1. So basically, if um, the right or left arrow key is pressed and the up or down arrow key is pressed, it means we're going diagonally, right? So here comes a uh, slightly hard part. We're going to do move by x, abs of x, because um, you'll see later, abs of x, square root of abs of x, because that is um, the Pythagorean theorem, if you might recall from your um, school classes, divided by 2, and then multiplied by speed, and multiplied by vx. And we're going to do the same thing for y. So let's just duplicate that. Um, and swap out these variables for vy. Great. Now, if we put this in, we should be able to move slightly slower when moving diagonally. And indeed, we do. Um, it's not as fast as before. Um, I'll, I'll actually demonstrate. So let's take this out, duplicate this so I can show you um, the difference in speed. Uh, if we move diagonally right now, we are moving faster. But if we use this script, we actually move slightly slower um, than usual because that is the speed of our player, which is 4 pixels. So yeah, great! We actually solved the uh, problem. We minimalized the movement vector successfully. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a bit more complex than my other tutorials, so um, I hope you were able to follow along. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for another tutorial next week, hopefully.